mi gente, it's golden hour. That's something on my face. Oh my god, y'all, we missed most of it. But she was beaming too much today for me. Oh, we missed most of it. Oh, but it's still nice. Y'all, I am so tired of staring at a screen, yet here I am staring at a screen. But this is different, because it's like I'm to my besties, okay? Um, no, I've been working and staring at a screen and editing and staring at a screen so if you don't mind i'm just gonna close my eyes for a little second and like regroup because i've been staring at a screen for so long anyways y'all how y'all doing how y'all living como estas mi gente <sighs> like an hour ago i was out here y'all let me tell you something i tried to save a dung beetle today because it was on its back i saw it on its back like a day ago and normally they just flip over so i didn't really think much of it but then today I was like, oh my God, he's still on his back. So first I got stuck with all those pokey things that I don't know what they're really called, but I call them pokey things. After It grabbed me while I was flipping them over and it was all inside my dress. So I had to take off that dress and put on a different one. And then um, he died. Now I don't know if he was a senior citizen uh, dung beetle or not, but he died. So I got poked by pokey things for him to die so rip to the dung beetle i'm sorry for our loss because as a community we all lost him it wasn't just me it was all of us it went in my shoe y'all oh my god tired of this <laughs> it went in my shoe <laughs> oh. <sighs> he probably thought I killed his friend oh, oh my Jesus <laughs> my heart is beating so fast like no man no anyway so I don't even know where I was at anymore freaking liar i said i wasn't gonna work out and what i did was i cheated and i worked out at midnight making it feel like it was a part of yesterday and then again i've been up since five but it is now six <sighs> september my fucking boy tank survive okay but that's okay because i still love him all right, you guys, I want to tell y'all, first of all, that the Breathe the Right strips actually worked on my blister. So, <laughs> ghetto hack, okay? Ghetto hack. It did work. My blisters look bad, y'all. I feel some type of way about how they look. Okay, hold on, you guys. Hold on, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Thinking today about my antisocial social self, right? So, I was kind of, when I was talking to Kendall and everything, um was so kindle sorry and when i was talking to kindle and everything was just flowing so effortlessly and i was just able to be open which i'm not usually able to do unless it's one here for some reason um i was wondering if that part of my life where i was closed off to the people that i was close to had something to do with my life at that point like because I wanted everything to look so nice and neat and packaged and perfect. And I was just thinking while we were talking the whole time, I'm like, man, I wonder how things would have been, what support I could have received, what, if I was honest, like what my life could have been if I was just honest with myself and if I was just honest with the people around me about what was really going on. And then it just turns into something like, why do we hide the truth from not only others but ourselves about what is really going on with us like why do we feel like we have to make everything look so cookie cutter and so perfect and so nice and packaged so neatly and why are we doing it what what do we gain from showing people us with a mask on like what what do we have to gain from that for me I don't feel like I gained much from it. When I look back at it, like what did I gain from that moment in time of just faking? The only thing that I can think of that really, really made me feel like I did okay with it was my children and my grandparents. 
my grandparents was always very proud of me and the things that I was doing and how I was raising my family and things like that that stuff really stuck with me because I was always being praised for it and I think because I hold them in such a high regard that um, I felt the need to keep going on and on and I think putting two and two together the moment that I didn't have either is when I kind of finally was like woke in my self like the inner me woke up and it's like what is it the red or the blue pill like do you want to like live in a reality or do you want to have the wool pulled over your eyes and that was my moment I can't remember which pill did what y'all so I don't even want to say <laughs> the pill because I could be telling y'all the wrong pill but I want that's the minute I woke up to my real reality and was like, I don't like this, I'm not happy. Like, you know you're not happy, even in those moments you know you're not happy, but you keep going on with the show. Living with the Sawyers. So there was my daily programming. Get up every morning, get the kids ready for school, give them breakfast, take them to school, clean the house, make sure it's nice, make sure the dinner's ready when he gets back home, serve him his dinner, clean up, make sure everything's straight, give the kids a bath, put them to bed, read them a story, and then do that over and over. And after I drop them off, I would work out over and over routine 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 and first off i don't know whose life i was looking at but that was my model just to be quite frank it must have been a tv show because my mom didn't cook dinner for my dad and if she did it was like four times a month and she definitely wasn't serving him that meal i don't recall my grandma serving my grandpa meals i can't remember honestly but i don't recall that being a thing and mind you my family is full of very strong not backing down women but first they had to be beat down first i'm not going to even front on y'all they didn't emerge from the cocoon like yo you know what i mean at first there was a lot of beating down emotionally and physically it happened to a lot of the women in my family for them to emerge to be the strong people that they are today and i hate that for anyone that you have to go through such tumultuous horrible things just to reach that point of being strong and then you become so strong that you were like I don't even need a man you know what I mean but it's after being beat down and mistreated and, and and taken for granted and unappreciated that you finally emerge as this person that's very strong but for me I've gone through all those things I've done all those things I've been through all those things but inside I don't feel I feel stronger like don't don't get me wrong or don't get me twisted within myself I feel better standing my ground and saying my peace and doing all that but not strong to the point that I still wouldn't love on my man or cater to my man that I was looking up to that made me feel like I had to have this cookie cutter life because I've seen my mom cuss my dad smooth the fuck out no regrets no nothing and uh, they're still together you know but also I don't want to uh, feed into that type of life you know because I call it you know when my inner mom is coming out when I get to that level and obviously I don't like that level it's really not a good place to be in um, it's not great but Back to the whole uh, reason why I turned on the camera is I don't feel like we should have to lie to ourselves above anyone else, but even the people that we're closest to, I don't feel like we should have to put on a show for them. They should know if we're really truly close to them now. Obviously, maybe I didn't feel that close to people. Please don't be another dog. Maybe I didn't feel that close to people. Maybe because I was just so used to hiding things. What the is that now what are you why are you following me oh my god you're following me why are you following me <laughs> y'all why is this an everyday occurrence now every day i can't concentrate but i don't feel like we should have to hide i need a nancy back anyway i don't feel like we should have to hide um, if we're going through something, if things are hard and things like that, I think a lot of times I go within myself because I don't trust people with that emotion. And that sounds weird because like I said, I come to you guys straight from the heart, straight off the dome. There's never a topic. We just be shooting the shit. Um, and I, what the 
fuck are you down? Okay, bitches. Um, I come to you and, and I'm fully open to this dialogue and talking. You're like, yeah, you're talking to yourself, but I know eventually you will see it, right? So I am talking to you, 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 you. I love all your guts, right? But I don't know that I trust people fully with that type of vulnerability. I don't know that I trust people fully to see that shit is not all the way together because people tend to judge, make snide remarks, say fucked up shit to you and thinking like it's helpful somehow. And I also looked at life because I take into account a lot of things when I am trying to work things out with a friend or in a relationship, I, I take a lot of things into account, right? So their upbringing is like a huge thing for me because I'm like, well, what if they didn't know or understand this or that? And so then I'm a lot more patient with it because, oh, well, they had a fucked up relationship with their mom. So maybe that creates a fucked up relationship with all women because the first woman that you ever trusted betrayed you and now, you have trust issues with women, period. Nurturing, <laughs> very nurturing. It comes off almost motherly. And a lot of broken men and women have come to me needing that specific type of nurturing that I provide. So you kind of step out of significant other role and you go into mother role and you kind of love their inner child and you love their inner child so much that you forget, yo, you're a grown ass motherfucking man, like come the fuck on. But, but it's because a lot of us have inner child trauma that hasn't been dealt with that you kind of have to nurture that inner being first in order to get to that grown ass woman or man that you are dealing with. So sometimes it needs help and we feel like, yo, we don't have any problems, we don't have this, but it comes out in relationships, it comes out in friendships, it comes out in, in, in dealing with other people. We don't ever resolve the things that our inner child needs to have resolved. It just comes out in a different way, mantrums, woman drums, whatever. Um, it's just not able to communicate and stuff like that. Like I, I speak a lot on not being able to be heard and have my own voice and have my own opinion, which came out later. So in my relationship, I was very silent. I didn't, I don't like fighting and me and Kendall talked about it earlier. I don't like it. I don't like people disrupting my energy like that. I don't like to feed into it. So a lot of times I just be like, okay, whatever. But there are other times that no no but it's rare for me to get outside of my like form you really would have to be somebody with like the worst intentions for me for me to stay out of that energy because I forgive a lot of things I'm a very forgiving person and it's almost to a fault it's actually I look at it as a negative sometimes because the thing is I'm too understanding sometimes and I look at things and I'm like well 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 but if that shoe was on the other foot that person is not going to be as understanding as me when i look at all things all angles of something the another person just looks from their side and their point of view and they'll be like well i'm sorry but no okay you did this one thing i don't like it i'm not happy so fuck you and i get it not everybody's gonna look at things from all sides you know what i mean you're not going to be like oh well i see this i see your i see this i see that but parents they put me into a lot of their stuff and I can see things from each of their point of views a lot of times and so that's where the duality me of looking at things from a lot of different angles came in is listening to my parents and being the therapist that they refuse to go to so I just um I don't know like please don't sleep on therapy therapy is amazing it's very enlightening i fucks with therapy the long way it's just my therapist my therapist where you at girl so but i just feel like we are going to learn through this channel how to take our mask off and just be okay with being ourselves authentically where we stand right here if you're hurting and you cry bitch cry <laughs> if you are are happy be happy if you are meh be meh you don't have to sit up there and pretend i wanted a hard exterior even though i was really really soft on the inside i wanted to present myself to the world a different way because protection
right? Why else? Protection. You don't want people to know that, that the things inside. And like I had said before, people use those things against me. My family used those things against me. When I'd say something, they would be like, oh, I got you now, motherfucker. Role models in my life, but as far as females went, it was a little different. They showed me the strength, but they didn't show me much else. They didn't show me the femininity. They didn't show me, you know, how to be submissive. They didn't show me those things. And anytime they saw me exhibit any type of submissive behavior, they talk mad shit. So if we would all be together at the family, as a family, and I would serve my my ex's plate, they would be like, why? He got two feet, he got two legs, he can do blah, blah, blah himself. And he very well could have done it himself, but I, as his, his wife at that time, felt like I should do those things for him. He was working hard at no less. He was shit with money, but he worked hard. And I'm, I'll put a disclaimer. I will always put a disclaimer, you know. A lot of shit is fucked up about that man, but at one point he was a very hard worker. Now, not so much, but then, yes. So I felt like he deserved that. But I wish I would have seen more softness, more subtleness, more affection, more love. Um, from the women in my family. Like my grandma and grandpa, they did kiss. I mean, they're not like, <laughs> but they would be like, mm -hmm. and um, they did really cute things for each other. My grandpa would fix her coffee. They called each other mom and dad. And it was maybe that model that I kind of looked at and saw that there is a give and take in relationships. You know what I mean? <sighs> did you see that? Did you? I'm about to fight <laughs> but I wish I saw more balance to you know uh, masculinity and femininity um, women in my family are very big personalities so the men would kind of be I don't want to say like I don't want to take away from their masculinity but it did kind of feel like they would shrink themselves in those instances and you kind of have to get such a a man that really understands and, and, and gets this big personality and why you have it because it's not because you wanted it it's because you feel like you had to do this and ain't nobody gonna take advantage of me again type shit right that's how I feel they're scared to open people up to that vulnerable point of them part of them but at the same time my mom's been married let's see here 30 four years I want to say at what point is it okay to be vulnerable within 34 years and say like listen I was completely damaged in my last relationship and I never overcame it and this is why today even to this day and I can understand carrying that heavy load that my mom carried even my aunt my aunt has been through like that I know of two relationships that were not the best and I could see how she has a hard exterior and then she has whatever beef she had with my grandmother and I don't really understand the dynamic in that relationship everyone had a different relationship with my grandmother and she was a very stern person my grandpa was very loving so they were the balance you know good cop bad cop all that good stuff they had balance there because somebody had to be stern somebody had to be loving and they decided my grandpa was the loving one and my grandma was the stern one she's very good at it very good at it but as far as balance my grandma did have that in her um it's just that i saw more sternness sometimes um coming from her but that's because she was outnumbered by children y'all like she had six kids she's just a little little woman and you have to be strong and i don't know if they look back and see how little she was and how much bigger everybody was than her but she's a very small in stature woman she definitely cannot be run over by these children now so i get those things but that's me speaking from looking at both sides you know what I mean and I never faulted her for being stern because somebody had to or we would run amok in that house I mean they basically at some point raised almost each and every one of us so I mean the grandkids plus her kids you know what I mean so you definitely got to be stern at some point but 
I just want to see what balance looks like because I like my femininity but I felt like I didn't get a chance to have that femininity only in the beginning of of my my relationship by the time we got married lord i didn't have that anymore i might as well have been scratching my balls all day because i had to toughen up a lot of times and i was called to do things that i didn't feel like i should have to do but it is what it is i became the one that pretty much handled all business aspects so he bring in the bacon i cook the bacon and that was fine but then i was building shit fixing shit doing all the shit that i was like wait don't aren't you supposed to do that shit and, um not every man is is built to do that i have a dad that is a mechanic he naturally understands how things work and maneuver because of that and so i saw him fix and do a lot of things in the house even though he didn't have full understanding he had a basic grasp of how things would go and i would watch him do those things i've watched him and that helped me when my toilet burst in my apartment when things happen watching him help me you know what i mean and I even watch our maintenance man when he would come through and half-ass do some bullshit himself. So I just, I like to watch, I like to learn. I don't wanna ever be in a position where I don't know something and I have to wait on somebody to do something. Cause imagine if I did that, like Lord, imagine, just imagine. But YouTube was my best friend. If I didn't know and my dad didn't know, YouTube knew, they always had a video. Thank you YouTube for being my first tutorial uh, situation to learning how to fix stuff, you know, on car parts. I did a step-by-step a -step on cars. I, I just, I, I don't know. I like the duality of having both, you know, like a masculinity and a femininity about me. But at the same time, I want to be able to be soft and I want to be able to be like taken care of sometimes. So it would be nice to know what that feeling is like. It's more than financial. If you can't be honest with yourself, you're not going to be able to be open and honest with anyone else. And I'll, excuse me. And also, you're not going to be able to call somebody out for something if you can't even be honest with yourself about your your feelings in order to be a better partner a better mother a better daughter a better anything we have to all look at our own shortcomings and see what role we played in things you know what i mean and i think wearing a mask for me was horrible it was fucking horrible <laughs> never again Which is why you're going to see me in whatever mood I'm in. However I'm feeling at whatever point in the day. Because these are authentic feelings that I have. And I don't want to hide them from anybody. Because I hid them from myself for so fucking long. That it doesn't make fucking sense to hide them from anyone else at this point. Like, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. And I'm letting y'all know this is how I fucking feel. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. I'm not perfect. I don't do things perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to pretend that I do. Because what is that going to do? Like, how is that going to benefit me? To act like my life is perfect when it's not. Act like I'm perfect when I'm not. It doesn't do anything. So I just feel like, be your authentic and true self. I'm not saying you have to expose yourself to every fucking body you meet. I'm not saying that you got to show yourself to everybody you meet but i am saying that i do believe that there should be some form of honesty with yourself at all like 100 percent honest if you ain't feeling something let it be known it doesn't mean you have to have a cat fight with your significant other or family member it just means that you have to um express yourself in a way that they can understand you because a lot of times what happens in arguments is just the misunderstanding of it all right so i'm gonna convey something to you but you're not understanding it in the way that i'm saying it that's when i'm gonna ask the other person's gonna ask for a clarification like did you mean it like this if we could just do it like that and then i'd be like no no not at all that's not what i meant it was just like um, my conversation with Big Country. He thought I was cussing him out, but that's just how I talk. And so I'm glad he called me and he was like, yo, why are you cussing me out? First was a text and then a call. And he was like, I want clarification. And that's 
a building block for communication just for somebody to be like yo i just want to make sure you wasn't really cussing me out because i was feeling some type of way at work you know what i mean and i don't want him to feel some type of way at work like the fuck you know that wasn't even that's not my intention but that's this is how i talk and um so either he gonna have to get with it or get gone oh my god you guys i don't think you're gonna be able to see it fuck that's a butterfly it's huge and it's beautiful <gasps> oh my god i'm gonna stick y'all i've never Ooh. <laughs> up close and personal with tori hey um i've never seen a butterfly that big in my life and that majestic oh, i love it here so clarification if i say something even in a video just be like did you mean and then we get clarity right and that way i mean you still might not like the answer let's keep it buck you might not like the answer still because i could have meant it like a totally different way but clarity is what's important and also being able to agree to disagree on things and not this is my number one well my number 4972 pet peeve is making something that i deem important minor like it doesn't matter i don't like that because we might have things that we feel are 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 important but not as important as one another right wow y'all calm down so just because you don't feel like it's important please don't minimize the importance that it has to me so just understand bitch just understand that this I hold high regard to this situation. So it's something like this is it means a lot to me. It hurts me when you do X, Y, and Z. But it, to you, it might not be a big deal. If I'm like, yo, I, I want to know that you made it home safe. Please text me when you get home. And to you, that's not a big deal. And you're like, and hey, whatever, fuck it. And I find it like offensive. Like it hurts my feelings if you don't text me when you get home. So I know that you're safe. Because I ask everybody to do that. Either you're gonna be safe or you're gonna tell me when you're home safe. It's busy out here in these butterfly streets. I'm hot. And that's how you know I put <laughs> with you. I'm about to choke on watermelon. I don't wanna be choking on something. I'm just like, let me stop. Okay. <laughs> Hormones. Sorry. <sighs> I'm gonna get over it. I'm gonna get through it. Um, yeah. My finger is getting better. That's good. But, um, we should all be able to communicate how we feel. And we should all be able to clarify misunderstandings. And we should all be able to share that with one another. Because I think a lot of friendships, relationships, family, relationships as a whole, and a big whole, can be saved with just clarity communication and clearing up those misunderstandings so just take off your mask let people in to a certain degree like i know you still have to protect yourself protect your heart and do all that shit because obviously right because you can't just let every motherfucker know your guts you know what i mean like not everybody's worthy of your guts so you can't share it with everybody and that's this guts this guts my stomach and the vaginal guts okay not everybody's worthy they're not worthy so listen we're gonna get it together it's gonna be good we're gonna be fine we're gonna work through this together i'm gonna work on exposing more of myself to people in my everyday life the way that i expose myself to you guys because <sighs> shutting down is my go-to okay something's not going the way that i need it to go bitch like not going the way that i need it to go then i'm gonna shut down if i don't feel like you're hearing me and that's where i shut down at like coop, coop, we ain't gonna talk no more and i just want to work on that part of myself because that is a shortcoming i have and if i'm going to go into another situation whatever i have to make sure that that part is worked on because it's a huge part of who i am because Excuse me. I know that once I feel like you're not hearing me or talking over me or doing all that shit, then I'm going to shut down. There's no communication there and it's dead, done, dada, until I'm ready to open up again. And a lot of times I ain't ready. 
and a lot of times I ain't gonna do it. And a lot of times that conversation will not be finished because if you come back with the same energy you left with, then obviously I'm like gonna shut down again. People need to know that about me. I do say I don't like to argue. I do say I don't like to raise my voice, but I don't say that is if it does happen, we're not talking anymore. <laughs> I gotta let them know. I gotta stun on them with these emotions. Stun on the whole, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta let everybody know what's going on with me and how I feel and what's going on emotionally. And as emotional as I am, you guys are probably like, how do you hide that? I shut down. I shut the fuck all the way down. And then I journal. And then you all kinds of motherfuckers in there. And then I cry in the closet. And that is how I mask my emotions. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Listen, things are happening out here. It's getting a little violent. These bugs is choosing violence. A bitch ain't choosing violence today. I'm trying to be cool, you know what I'm saying? But they are biting. They are flying around me. Like I get that my energy is captivating and you wanna be around me, but <laughs> calm down. God, you guys look at this candle so we haven't brought it in since the last time we tried to shoo the flies out and they're looking messy but I want this bowl after it's done because this would be a great bowl to put my elevations in so I might bring her in and uh, clean her out and let her have a second chance at life okay but yeah y'all so we're leaving out Audi 5000 G y'all remember that you're probably too young anyways we're gonna leave out of this session of um, what's going on in the chaos in my mind, you know what I mean? Trying to clear out some weeds. Kendall, thank you very much for helping spark this conversation because without our conversation, I don't think we would have had this conversation right here. Oh, bitch. With all the added shit that's going on. So, yeah, hope you are here for this journey. I fuck with you guys a long, long, long way. And I love your guts. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I love y'all. Let's get it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I love you. Juju, juju, and you. Amazing fucking day. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing year. I forgot a month, but how an amazing month. I hope everything in your life is amazing. I hope you smile a billion times today. And if you need to cry, I'm here. I'm hugging you. I love you. And if it's happy tears, I still love you. And listen, I got you either way. Happy, sad, mad, glad. We could talk it all now. Okay, just know that I'm here. Don't even worry about it because we're just going through shit together. And I'm going to keep it funky and a buck with you the whole fucking time. Because what? I don't have nothing to hide. <sighs> well, I have something. It's not to hide. I just can't say it. Okay. <laughs> but we're going to get to that point and we're going to talk. I mean, basically half of it came out anyway. <laughs> but anyways i love you guys so very much and please have a good day on me okay i love your guts i love your butts okay and now i'm about to go in because it's too motherfucking hot el paso is not forgiving when it comes to the sun she be beaming she be turning the dial up too high and so i just be like girl turn it down and she's like oh, wait until winter bitch because you know there ain't no fall in me hoe so um we just go straight from summer to winter so i can't wait till winter shows her ass but i maybe a bitch won't even be here for this winter okay maybe my vlogging location will be totally different a totally different backyard okay a fly is on my motherfucking stuff i'm so happy that you you getting fed and nourished homie i'm glad i'm so happy for you and still coming from me and my neck my throat my throat my throat be hungry and i don't know what to put in my throat my mother go find out because the watermelon it was soothing but there's no more i bust open i cracked them guts on this watermelon and everybody took some and then they didn't they had the audacity the gall to cut it wrong like who raised these kids for real who raised my kids but I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Like I said, I love your guts. I don't be ending videos because I never know when they're going to end. <laughs> so, listen. Get at me, dog. And I will see you guys probably later. Probably when the sun go motherfucking down. I don't got my watch on because it's doing an update.